Now, for Eastern Regional Auditions, uh, for NCMEA, after you play each of your scales, you need to play an arpeggio. Now, I want to give you a quick primer on arpeggios and um, get you going that way. Um, arpeggios are not hard to play at all if you have a plan. And uh, so I'd like to give you a little plan. Now, if you don't know what an arpeggio is, an arpeggio is uh, also something that we will call a broken chord. The reality is it's the first, third, and fifth note of a scale played um, in sequence. So if you think about our major scales, our one octave major scales, our first, third, and fifth notes of the sequence would be first finger, third finger, and then first on the next string. So what I like to do for arpeggios is play a one, three, one pattern and then shift to the next tonic or root. So for instance, if we were playing an D major arpeggio, we would play D, an F sharp, the third note of the scale, and an A, the fifth note of the scale. Then we would shift up to the next D with our first finger, and then play D, F sharp, and A, first, third, and first, then shift again on up on the D string to a D, F sharp, A, and then we end with fourth finger. And then the pattern is very repetitive and quite simple to do. One, three, one, and then a shift. Now the shift is a shift of a fourth. And that last shift of a fourth is a little longer shift than we sometimes do. So that's where the practice is. The pattern then becomes quite simple. Let me show you this pattern up close. That pattern will remain the same for all of the major arpeggios. Um, let me demonstrate one more for you. Let's demonstrate the F major arpeggio uh, that will be played immediately after the F major scale. This will be a three octave arpeggio, and the pattern is first, third, first, and then we do our shift to the next tonic, to the next F on that string. Now, for a minor arpeggio, it's really the same idea, only the third is a half step lower. So, we'll be playing one, three, one, and then our shift, but just play a minor third between the first and the third notes rather than a major third. Let me demonstrate a minor arpeggio starting on D. So, this will be D minor three octave arpeggio. <laughs> 